most children and young people thrive, even with the ups and downs of life. With the support of their parents and carers, their siblings, friends and other important adults in their lives. We don't just want to wait until things go wrong to help them thrive. If everyone works together, we can take steps to encourage good health and development. Some of these can be small things and others big things. But even if we all work to provide and promote good, active, physical and emotional health and development, some children and young people develop additional needs. There are times when it can be helpful for a trusted person to offer useful guidance about what might help, or provide information and signposting to know what the options are. Occasionally children, young people or families don't want help, but people around them are worried. And when this happens, everyone needs to work together to keep the child or young person safe. And if we can help them keep safe and well, it might also be useful for some to get more support. For some children, young people and families, we know lots of help will be needed from across the community and from a variety of services and that others will need less. There are many things that are known to be effective in helping us to feel okay, so that we can cope better with the ups and downs. Getting the support needed starts with someone noticing and listening, being interested in others. If we work together, these conversations are the first steps in understanding a child or young person's needs and to think with them about choosing the right help or support. Sometimes talking and really trying hard to see things from their point of view might even be enough on its own to help someone get back to thriving. So let's work together to ensure that children, young people and their families' physical and emotional well-being is everyone's business and help them to thrive. <laughs>